Justine. I'm Marissa Meyer. I'm the author of Cinder and the Lunar Chronicles, and I'm here at Y'all West today in Santa Monica um, and having a great time with all of these other YA fans. What can you tell us about some upcoming projects you have? Uh, well, my next book is Winter. It will be out in November of this year, and it is the final book of the Lunar Chronicles series. Uh, so it's the epic conclusion, and um, will kind of it will take place on the moon as all of my main characters join forces to try to take down this evil queen that's been terrorizing them throughout the books. Do you have any little secrets you can share with us about what's coming up? <laughs> um, I can't tell a whole lot about it, of course, um, but I know readers are, are very curious to know if all of the characters from the previous books will be in it, and they will. Um, it's huge, it's like 800 pages long, um, so there's lots of story, there's lots of adventure and, and action and lots of romance too, which is very important to me. And I know it's important to readers too. When you're writing, do you pull from your own experiences or do you pull from like just this world that you create? Um, a little bit of both. Uh, I, for the most part, it's all you know, very fictionalized, and of course, the the things that are happening in the books are much bigger and more exciting than anything that happens in my little life. Um, but at the same time, for writing the characters and their experiences, uh, I think you do have to kind of find an emotional attachment there. Um, and so you do sometimes look back. Well, when was a time that I felt you know outcast or lonely, or you know when did I have a crush? What was that like? And you kind of look back on those times and, and try to use that to write the the same feelings. If someone hasn't read any of your work yet, who do you think would enjoy reading it? Um, well, my some of my influences are Star Wars and Firefly um, and then fairy tales. My books are science fiction retellings of fairy tales. Um, so if any of those catch your interest, um, then I think, you know, I, I, that you would check them out and hopefully enjoy them. Um, but I also think, you know, anybody who likes, you know, good characters and, and fast-paced storytelling, I hope they'll enjoy them. If you could merge your book with any other book that's here, any other author, what would you do? Well, I am a huge fan of the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardot. Hugo. Um, and they're very different. You know, my, my books are science fiction and hers are high fantasy in this um, fictionalized version of Russia. Um, but I love so many of her characters and we've actually talked to like it'd be awesome to do, um, you know, a, a cross story about all these characters meeting up and joining forces because yeah. I think some of them would get along really well and some of them would not and it would be fun to see what they did. If someone really wants to start writing, what advice do you have for them? Um, I think when you're just starting, it's so important to write stories that you are really passionate about. Um, and it can be really easy to start getting into this mindset of, you know, oh, I want to be published, and what is the market doing, and what are the trends, and all of that. Um, but when you're just beginning, just write what your heart is telling you to write, because that passion will show through. Yeah. Thanks for being readers, and I hope you will enjoy Winter, the series conclusion when it comes out.